Welcome back to SPC Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to be solving first order linear differential equation using the integrating factor. Now, before I start, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos. Now, if, for example, you have a differential equation of this form, let's say you have a differential equation of this form or you observe that the differential equation can be written in this form even if it's not in this form but you can manipulate it to give you this form then you can use the integrating factor to solve now the solution i will not give you how the integrating factor was gotten and how it was done but if you're interested in knowing how it was done i'll drop the link to the description so that you can watch my other engineering video so that you can get it but I'll go straight to the answer that the solution to the differential equation is i dot y equals to integral of i dot q of x. Remember that when you, when you integrate this, there will be a constant. So let's call that constant A. So when you integrate it, there's no need to write the constant down, but you have written the constant already. Now the question is what is this i, where i is the integrating factor and it is giving us e raised to the power integral of p of x dx. Now when you integrate this and raise it to this uh, and e raised to the power what you get, that's what we call our integrating factor. So it, the solution to the differential equation is the integrating factor times y which is equal to the integral of the integrating factor times q of x now what is that integrating factor exponential integral of this function now this must be a function of x only and this must be a function of x only now let's solve one question we'll solve five, about five questions in this video and that will be all for this video now our first question here is dy over dx minus y equals to 3 now, when you compare this equation and this equation, dy over dx, dy over dx, p of x, y, minus 1, y. So, it implies that, it implies that p of x is equal to minus 1, then q of x is equal to 3. Now, what is our integrating factor i? It is integral, exponential integral of p of x, which is minus 1, dx. Now, when I integrate minus 1, I'm going to get minus x i'm going to get minus x so we have gotten our integrating factor as as exponential minus x now what will be the solution to the differential equation it is the integrating factor which is exponential minus x times y equals to the integral of the integrating factor which is exponential minus x times q of x what is our q of x three so we have times theory. So I can bring that three here since it's a constant. Then plus our general constant. Now this is exponential minus x dot y. Now when I integrate this, I'm going to have minus theory exponential minus x plus our constant. Now what can I do here? I can divide through by exponential minus x. Now when I divide through by exponential minus x, I'm going to have this will cancel out with this. I'll have y is equal to minus t plus a over exponential minus x. Now, in indices, when I have a negative power at the denominator, I can make it positive by bringing this stuff upward. So I'm going to have y is equal to a exponential x. Now the minus sign has gone, then minus t. This becomes the general solution of this differential equation. Now, how do we know if we are correct? Now, let's just do a little stuff here. I'll differentiate this. I'll get the y over the x. And when I differentiate this, I'll have a exponential x. Then when I differentiate this, I'll have 0. Now, what is that a exponential x? Is y plus 3. So, if I differentiate this, I said I'll get the y over the x. When I differentiate this, I'll get a exponential x. And when I differentiate this one, I'll get 0. Now, remember that our a exponential x is y plus 3. So I will replace this and put y plus 3. When I take this y here, I will have minus y equals 3. So this shows that our answer is actually correct. 
Now let's move to question two. Okay, welcome back. Question two, let's quickly do question two. Now we have the y over the x. Now let's compare this with our general equation. Now let's compare these two things. The y over the x, the y over the x. P of x times y, 3x times y. So it means that P of x is 3x and Q of x is 5y. Now what will be our integrating factor? Our integrating factor is exponential integral of P of x dx and what is that p of x our p of x is 3x so we have integral of 3x dx so our integrating factor now when i integrate 3x i'll get 3x square over 2 yes 3x square over 2 don't forget about the constant when you are doing this integrating factor so this is our integrating factor remember that i said the solution is integrating factor times y equals to the integral of integrating factor times q of x then plus our constant now let's substitute our integrating factor our integrating factor is exponential 3x square over 2 times y equals to integral of exponential 3x square over 2 dot 5x our q of x is 5x plus our constant. Now let me bring this 5 here. I will have exponential 3x square over 2 dot y equals to 5x exponential this plus a. So we bring this x here. So we have x exponential 3x square over 2. Now how do I go about this? There's something called u substitution when I want to integrate this. I will use what we call u substitution. So if you have not watched my integral videos, please go back. I'll drop the link on the description. Go back. Make sure you watch my integral video on u substitution. Now what will I do? I will let u equals to 3x square over 2. Mind you, there is the x here before the plus a. Plus a. So uh, the u is equals to this times this. I'll have 3x dx. This is our du. So our dx becomes du over 3x. Now, anyway, I see 3x square over 2, I'll put u. And anyway, I see dx, I'll replace it and put du over 3x. So our exponential 3x square over 2 dot y becomes 5 integral x dot e raised to the power u. Don't forget that 3x squared over 2 has been replaced with u. Then our dx will be replaced with du over 3x. Then plus our constant. Now this x can cancel out to this x. We are left with e raised to power u du all over 3. So I can bring this over 3 outside. So we then have exponential 3x squared over 2 dot y equals to 5 over 3 integral of exponential u du now how do we integrate this don't forget this these are the conditions they give plus our constant now if i integrate this i'll get the same thing so i have exponential 3x square over 2 dot y equals to 5 over 3 exponential u now instead of me to write the u i'll replace it back and put exponential 3x square over 2 plus our constant a i can decide to leave my answer like this or i'll divide through by this so that i can get so that this will also cancel out i'll have a over this but let's leave our answer like this now don't forget that we are given a condition and the condition is at x equals to zero y will be zero so when x is zero this will become three 3 times 0, which is 0. So we have e raised to power 0, which is 1. 1 times 0 will give you 0. Then this part, we have 3 times 0, which is 0. All of our 2 is 0. e raised to power 0 is 0. So e raised to power 0 is 1. So we have 5 over 3 times 1. So we have gotten this part to be 0. Then we have 5 over 3 times 1 plus a. So our a becomes minus 5 over 3. So instead of me to write plus a, I'll just write minus 5 over 3. 
So this becomes our particular solution for this differential equation. Let's solve one more question and that will be all for this video. All right, this is question three. Now for question three, we have cos x dy dx plus y sin x equals one. Now we cannot compare it with our general equation because in our general equation, dy dx is standing alone. So how do we remove this cos x? We simply divide through by cos x. So we are going to have dy over dx plus y sin x over cos x equals to one over cos x. Now we cannot compare with our general equation, which is this. So we can compare with that equation. Now by comparison, the y over dx is the y over dx. Now this is y, this is y. What is left is sin x over cos x, and this is px. So it means that px is sin x over cos x. So our integrating factor will be integral of exponential px. So sin x over cos x dx. So this is exponential minus ln cos x. Don't forget when you integrate sin x over cos x or tan x, you get minus ln cos x. Now what I want to do is I want to take this minus upward. That is a rule in indices. So our integrating factor is exponential ln cos x raised to power minus one. Now remember in indices, if you have not watched my indices video, I'll drop the link in the description so that you can know why it's like that. In indices, if we have a raised to power log b base a, because the base here is a, they can cancel that and give you b. So if I have integrated factor as e raised to power log cos x raised to power minus 1, mind you, this is base e. The base e can cancel that, so we'll be left with cos x raised to power minus 1, which is 1 over cos x, and which is sec x so our integrating factor is sec x remember that we said the general solution is integrating factor times y equals to integral of integrating factor times um q of x mind you this q of x is one over x and one over x is the same thing as sec x so i can write this and write sec x then plus our constant now what is our integrating factor sec x so we have sec x dot y is equals to integral of sec x times sec x remember that i is sec x and q of x is also sec x so we have sec square x dx plus our constant so if you have not watched my integral video or my differentiation video remember that when you differentiate an x you are going to get sec square x so when you integrate sec square x you should be able to get an x back so when i integrate that I'm going to get tan x plus our constant. You can leave your answer like this, or you can decide to move forward. This sec x is 1 over cos x. And this is sin x over cos x and plus a. Now, when I multiply through by cos x, cos x, I multiply through by cos x, multiply through by cos x, multiply through by cos x. This will cancel out. This will cancel out. We are left with y equals to sine x plus a cos x. And this becomes our general solution for this differential equation. So that will be all for this video. In our next video, we may most likely talk about the Bernoulli differential equation. Thanks for watching. Learning online haven't been more fun. Exquisite Online Tutorials is a household name when it comes to academic excellence in online tutoring of 100 level students to 100 level students and college entrance examination candidates with the power of artificial intelligence and human studies. Exquisite Online Tutorials have been able to interact with the intelligence of students worldwide, making the good ones better and even the better ones best. Just like Science Bob, Exquisite Tutorials has a great faculty of erudite tutors that inject knowledge whether science or business management to the cerebrum of her students.
QTME lectures and other college entrance examination lectures are going on as well. Do you still need a physical tutor? No. Expertise Tutorials got you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.